Now, Bring Your Own Wine started as a way for smaller restaurants to get around the fact that they may not have a license to sell alcohol. But with the onset of the recession, the practice has been growing in popularity. And now a group of Michelin-starred restaurants in the capital has started letting fine diners bring their own booze. Catherine Carpenter has been finding out whether it's a good deal. If you love fine food, London's got a huge array of award-winning restaurants to choose from. But deciding what to wash it all down with can be both confusing and very, very expensive. But now members of a Bring Your Own Wine Club can enjoy their favourite tipples at London's top tables. The joining fee is £99 and restaurants charge members little or no corkage. Perhaps you're not the greatest cook in the world or you're worried that your cooking won't do that Chateau Margaux the justice that you want it to. And this is a wonderful way of having fantastic food in a beautiful restaurant, bringing your own wine that you've been treasuring for the last few years and letting somebody else do the dishes. But restaurants often make a big profit on their wine, so what's in it for them? I get more basil press, yeah? no, At the Michelin star Tom Aitkins in Chelsea, they hope it'll attract new yes, customers and ensure fine dining remains an option in straitened times. It allows customers to bring in a, a great bottle of wine um, without you know, being, being charged for the roof for it. So I think you know, for a lot of people who have their own wine at home, you know, it's a great opportunity to enjoy their own wine in a, in a great restaurant. But if you were hoping to keep your bill down by proffering a cheap bottle of plonk, think again. The BY Own Club has its own suggestions for etiquette. For example, it's polite to bring a wine that's on a par with what's on the restaurant's own list. Bringing your bottle in in a plastic bag is a definite no-no. And it's polite to offer the sommelier a taste of your favourite tipple. So does this really herald a BYO revolution? I asked people sampling Rioja at a London food and drink festival today. So that's fantastic, yeah. You save an awful lot of money on the wine that they overprice in the restaurant, surely. If you can take your own wine, it's, it's better. And like you said, if, you, if it's a celebration, you want to take your own personal special wine from the cellar, you can do. It's enough to make any wine steward shudder. And perhaps we shouldn't be too quick to dismiss their expertise. Quite genuinely, in my experience, they're really decent guys and they're genuinely out there to make your evening the best ever. So if you're honest with them and you say, this is the price that I'm really happy to spend, don't be afraid to talk about money, they'll be fine with it. But so far, around 45 restaurants have signed up to the BYO scheme and the founders say it's growing in popularity. Catherine Carpenter, BBC London.